All right. So uh, see if you can just sense your body where it is in space. Sensing your seat on a chair, perhaps a cushion, maybe your couch or the floor. Coming back to, as we did on Tuesday, sensing your breath as it moves into the body and out of the body. Just taking a moment to allow our bodies to settle. So if you can imagine um, a stream or a, a pond that's been stirred up and then it's calm again, just letting you know, whatever's been stirred up settle to the bottom of the pond. Sitting wherever you are with a sense of dignity, a sense of your completeness and your wholeness in this moment. Reminding ourselves that we're practicing mindfulness, which is really just bringing our attention and intention to the present moment to observe our experience. We're trying to do that with some kindness for ourselves and some curiosity. You can close your eyes if you like, uh, or you can just soften your gaze, whatever's comfortable for you. And when you're ready, I'd like you to let an image of a mountain. So a beautiful mountain, it could be a mountain you've seen, or a mountain in your imagination, and just let it gently come to your mind. And if you can't picture a mountain or an image is not coming up, see if you can sense the mountain. So sense the shape of the mountain. Imagining the peaks of the mountain. The very stable base of the mountain rooted into the rocky earth. Noticing the slope of the mountain. So is your mountain steep or is it a gentle rolling slope? Seeing if you can sense that unmoving, massive, <laughs> solid mountain in your imagination. And when you're ready, I'd like to invite you to bring that mountain into your own body. So becoming one with that mountain that you pictured. Noting that you share the massiveness and the stillness of that mountain. So if you like, you can imagine that your head becomes the peak or the peaks of the mountain reaching up to the sky. Your arms become the sloping sides of the mountain. Your seat and your legs become that solid base of the mountain. And as you breathe, you become an alive, breathing mountain of unwavering stillness. Connecting with that center, grounded presence within your own being.
So as you sit, pretending that you're a mountain, notice how everything around you is changing. So the light plays on the surface of the mountain and the shadows. Perhaps there are streams on your mountain or snow. And there's also wildlife moving across the surface of your mountain. As the light of day turns into the darkness of a starry night, through it all, the mountain just sits, experiencing the change of every moment, holding it in awareness, yet always remaining itself whole and unchanged. And as the seasons change, so does the activity outside of the mountain. Noticing in summer, perhaps the snow is melting and running into streams. Snow disappears except for maybe a few peaks and crags in the upper mountain. In the fall, the mountain may wear a coat of beautiful, brilliant colors from all the different leaves. In winter, the mountain may be covered with a blanket of snow and ice. And then in spring, the leaves come out and the flowers bloom. Perhaps the activity at the surface of the mountain increases. In any of these seasons, the mountain can be covered in light or perhaps in clouds or fog. Tourists may come to the mountain and comment on the beauty of the mountain. Or perhaps if it's foggy, say it's not a good idea to see the mountain today. Still the mountain remains its essential self. The mountain weathers storms of snow and rain, and yet the mountain sits through the seasons, through the changing weather, remaining whole and complete, remaining itself. So in the same way that this mountain sits in the landscape of your imagination, we can sit in meditation. We can embody that same grounded, unwavering stillness of the mountain. We can sit with this stillness in face of everything in our lives, over seconds, over hours, over years. And we, like the mountain, experience the constantly changing nature of our internal lives. So our feelings, our thoughts, our sensations, and all the activity in our external lives. We all experience our own lightness and darkness, our own activity and inactivity, our moments of color and our moments of drabness. Outside, the weather can change. It's always changing. Sometimes it's calm, 
Sometimes we experience violent storms. Even our appearance experiences a weathering of its own. However, by sitting as the mountain in meditation, we can link at any point with our internal strength, our own stability. It can help us see our thoughts, our feelings, our body sensations, kind of like the weather on the mountain, always changing. We tend to take it all personally, and yet, essentially, it's impersonal. So we have this to learn from mountains if we're open to it or if we wish. So if this image of the mountain resonates with you, you can access it during your meditation, but also in your everyday life to remind you of your unwavering strength and stability, despite the changing weather of our internal and our external lives. You can always access this sense of completeness and wholeness beyond words that sits at the center of your being. So we'll just take a minute of silence just to practice the mountain meditation on your own, embodying whatever mountain came to mind at the beginning of our practice. When you're ready, you can just release your focus on the mountain. Perhaps check in with your breath. Follow it through one full cycle as you inhale and pause and exhale. And when you're ready, you can gently bring a little movement, perhaps to your fingers and your toes. Can give a little neck stretch if that works for you. And gently open your eyes if they're closed to bring our attention back to whatever room you find yourself in. going to stop the recording.